into life. Tell me what happens. All right, under, according to the CBO, the Congressional Budget Office. Now you can say that their numbers are always off and stuff. And, and yes, some of their numbers, they don't always get everything right. But if you do a statistical analysis of the, of the 22 million people who will lose coverage if AHCA, the, the Republicans' plan, replaces Obamacare, you're looking at between 21,000 and 40,000 excess deaths among Americans per year because of lack of access to medical care. <clears throat> it's not just one fucking British baby. It's, it's tens of thousands of Americans dying every year. And that doesn't include the people who just get kind of, who feel like ex shittier or have shittier um, quality of life because they have inadequate access to health care. Now I will, and I'll give you this though, there's no good solution to health care because good health care costs out the butt. I'd rather live in a time where health care costs out the butt and leads to all this controversy than live in the 1930s or 1940s where medicine mostly sucked. We get 20 years of extra life, 30 years of extra life because of the quality of medicine now, because of the discoveries and technologies we have now. But that shit costs out the butt. And that's the thing that really people don't talk about. They like to talk about waste. They, um, but even if you squeezed out all the waste, you, you still have to pay out the butt for technology. And, yeah. it, 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 and it's going to keep getting worse for 20 years. And then as we figure out more and more effective therapies and, and, and they're more and more ad, are adapted, you know, say 25, 30, 40 years from now, costs will start dropping. There'll be preventative gene therapies. So there'll be a bunch of stuff going on and, and the problem that's insurmountable now will uh, gradually recede. But right now we're kind of fucked, whether you are on the Republican side or the Democrat side. Okay, uh, we have something in America called Medicaid. If you're destitute and you have cancer, the Medicaid will save you. Uh, 20,000 deaths, um, I disagree. I know plenty, of, I, I live in the ghetto. I know lots and lots of people that have free medical care. Uh, especially if they have a terrible illness. So we do have that. We, we have charity. Well, hold on, we hold have... on, hold on. I'm, I'm going to mostly agree with you, which is, yeah, we have Medicaid. And, and wait, we, we had Medicaid uh, 10 years ago. Yeah, but the Republicans before, are also trying to fuck Obama... Medicaid to the tune of like $800, million, $800 billion in cuts to Medicaid. Okay, part, uh, part uh, of the problem is that is that... Obamacare threw people into Medicaid that didn't even want to be on it. I, I'm one of them, by the way. I was, made, I was given a choice. I could pay a $1,200 fine or sign up for Medicaid. I'm in perfect health. I don't need Medicaid. I don't need Obamacare. Leave me alone, socialists. Can we stop this now? No, we got to keep going a little bit. Because um, you guys want to cut Medicaid by 80% of a trillion dollars and give most of the proceeds from those cuts to, to more, to richer Americans. Well, it seems like, like the Republicans don't even want to repeal. Okay, I'll replace. answer that. That's a, that's a very important question, okay? That's very important. Ted Cruz, who was my first choice for president, a lot of you people think uh, Trump is my hero, uh, but actually Ted Cruz was my first choice. He made a very, <laughs> He made, he made a, a, a suggestion that was so reasonable that it couldn't possibly be adopted by anybody. And that was, we can keep a, a uh, government mandated uh, uh, semi-Obamacare type thing, uh, insurance situation, but we would also allow Americans, we would allow insurance companies to offer a totally uh, un- uh, unplanned by the government, uh, uh, total freedom in offering other plans for people. So, so the insurance companies could, uh, could have total creativity and freedom and competition. Uh, so if you wanted to be insured in case you get uh, a, a mole on your neck, 
the insurance company would would give you that and would would give you that. Would they? And would that include pre-existing shit? It, it was just whatever. The, it was just total freedom. Well, because I mean, just, just let the, me finish my all point. Right. And and what kills me, the most the most painful thing that I have to deal with, is that the Republicans wouldn't go for it. And what that means to me is that even my beloved Republican Party has been infected with socialism and wants to keep the uh, uh, it wants to basically keep Obamacare. Now, the funny thing about it... Hold on, let me respond just real quickly to the trouble with allowing insurance companies to come up with whatever coverage they can means that some of them will offer super shitty coverage, which is what kind of victimized a lot of people before Obamacare, where you thought you had coverage, and it was super cheap, but it had a, an out-the-butt deductible, and it didn't cover anything. And, and well, you, know, you, you see... Know, well, people, you can... People, you, then, then there will be other... Because I'm a capitalist, not a socialist, I believe there will be more reputable insurance companies that will compete and do a better job and get a reputation for doing better work. And I also believe in enforcing uh, laws against fraud. I mean, I don't want any company taking advantage of people and lying. But I just wanted to make one last point. Please. Yeah. I'm very excited that good old Trump, who... who uh, actually turns out to be much better than I expected him to be, made another brilliant suggestion. He said, look, guys, if you can't come up with a, uh, uh, a policy uh, right now that to replace Obamacare, just repeal it. We'll go back to the way we were, and we'll spend. We'll take our time coming up with an with some other People, plan. He says that, but what what does that where does that well, lead us? Well, where, where, what it leads us is, is that if, if McConnell and uh, Ryan uh, would would do what he suggested, uh, then we'd we'd be able to repeal Obamacare, which is what he ran on, and, and what and most Americans wanted. At one point, now they've changed their mind. We still want that. Uh, no. Yeah, oh, I know. The New York Times is telling you they all want socialism. Yeah, that's right. Well, Your average I, American is is like is like a, is like a cross between Che Guevara and Joseph Stalin, right? Well, no, the that's what is, Americans the want. That, we want communism tomorrow. You've been reading the New York Times. No, I've been you, looking at man? surveys. And the oh, deal okay, is, those surveys are, are all right. So the surveys okay. have gone from like thirty-five or thirty percent of people approving of Obamacare to people seeing, you know, what the alternatives might be, which are sucky right now, and now it's 55% or more, you know, saying stick with Obamacare. Now, it, so it's not, you know, it's not 80%, it's not, it not did not go from 20% approval to 80% approval, but the tide has shifted somewhat. Um, I need to paint you if we're going to do this. All right, this. all right, well, let me just, one more point is, one more point, one more fucking point is, Medicaid, yeah, is kind of this, it, it, there's a certain non-fanciness to Medicaid that you're going to get a certain level of medical services that are pretty good, um, but they're not the best. And, you know, and, and, and beside, you know, you know, Republicans trying to fuck up Medicaid aside, um, there will be worse outcomes under everybody under Medicaid than if people had a shot at, at at less desperate care, of, of less desperate than, than showing up destitute in an emergency room and then going from there. All right. Breaking?